Now I understand that this video is very poorly timed. Only some kind of sicko would release an ab-based challenge this close to the holidays. everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those who may be new here, my name is Alexandra Templeton and I'm a personal trainer and yoga instructor. And today we're tackling another fitness challenge. And so this particular fitness challenge involves training abs to failure every day for a week. So on the one side, this is kind of sick, right? I mean, the holiday season is approaching, we have Thanksgiving coming up, Christmas, and the six pack is probably the last thing on most people's minds. But I wanted to use this as an opportunity, one, to do the challenge, but also to go into kind of the anatomy of the abs and how to best train them to see results. Psst, don't forget to subscribe. New uploads every week. So as with the other fitness challenges I've run here on my channel, I'm going to be following a protocol for the duration of the challenge. And this particular challenge involves four abdominal exercises. We're gonna start with a hollow hold crunch, going into alternating leg lifts, into a forearm plank mountain climber, and finishing it off with toe taps. So each of these four exercises addresses a slightly different area of the abdominal muscles. But for this protocol, what I'm going to be following to keep it consistent and to measure my progress throughout the week is doing each of these four exercises for as close to a minute as I can with little to no rest, with as little rest as possible. So we have the week of ab training challenge behind us. I wanna dedicate the second half of this video to breaking down the smartest way to train your abs to reveal your six pack beneath. Quick spoiler, it's actually not the way that I've done the challenge in this past week. After doing some research, uh, I found out that there are a lot of things that I could have tweaked in this week's challenge that I wanna share with you all today so that you don't repeat my mistakes. <laughs> Now the first and most important factor here, please don't hate me for this, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention it, is that while abs may be built in the gym, they are revealed in the kitchen. Meaning that your diet plays a crucial role in whether or not you see your abs. So this is something that I went into a lot more depth on in my how to get abs video, including the metabolic equation and the factors that influence fat loss. But basically what that means is your body fat percentage needs to be low enough to reveal all of your hard work. So I'll include a chart here of what that looks like, what the numbers look like roughly for both men and women. But if you're looking to get visible abs, I would turn first to your diet and see which parts you can clean up or where you can add in more whole nutritious foods and then look to your training. So with that little disclaimer out of the way, let's get into the best way to train your abs, starting off with the anatomy of the core and ab muscles. So your rectus abdominis, or the muscles responsible for that six pack look, is actually just one part of the muscles of your core. And beyond being a cool kind of party piece or something to show off at the beach, there are actually, they do perform valuable functions in our day-to-day -day movement, such as flexion and extension of the spine, lateral flexion and rotation, and core bracing. So with all these movements in mind, it's important that we train the abs and the core in a variety of ways to keep them strong, balanced, and healthy. Yeah, that's all great, right? But this video is about abs. So if we're going to isolate just the abs in our training, we need to focus on flexion of the spine. So any exercise that works to bring the upper and lower body together will flex the spine and work the abs. So in the challenge video, I included moves like this using alternating leg raises, toe taps, but you can also include hanging leg raises, the basic crunch, um, isolating different parts, i.e. the upper, middle, and lower part of the abs. Any of these variations would work. I would recommend trying out many of them, seeing which ones you most connect with, and then just hammering those home. Now, with that being said, there was actually one change that I would have made to the challenge, which I only learned about after in my research. Because training the abs involves spinal flexion, it's really important that we balance it with some spinal extension to keep the core and specifically the low back healthy. So adding in some moves after your ab training like cobra lifts, superman holds, or reverse hyperextensions will not only keep your low back safe, but will also aid in good posture and longevity of your core. 
And while we're speaking of ways to maintain a healthy core, in addition to your spinal flexion and extension exercises, I'd also recommend you add in a few drills to train the TVA. TVA stands for transverse abdominals. And I mentioned the rectus abdominis, which is the most superficial layer, the ones that sit on the top of your abdomen. But if you go deep down, the deep tissue muscles are your transverse abdominals. Those are that are responsible for bracing the core, for keeping you upright. And there's a lot of benefit to training them because not only will it improve the mind muscle connection you have with your abdominals but also adding in things like stomach vacuums will improve your digestion your posture and um, it's another cool party trick to have but I digress back to the abs now the rectus abdominis is pretty much evenly split between type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers meaning that it's beneficial to train them both with high repetitions to stimulate type 1 and low repetition weighted exercises to stimulate type 2 in the week-long challenge, I used exclusively bodyweight exercises, mostly for high reps because I was going for time. Though, if you would like to train them properly, and again, learn from my mistakes with this challenge, I would recommend adding in a few weighted exercises. So taking that dumbbell that I know you have lying around at home, just throw it into some of the exercises that I showed here in the challenge video, such as the toe taps or alternating leg raises. And my last tip here to round out our abdominal training has to do with isometric holds. A 2014 study by Schoenfeld et al. found that core muscle endurance as opposed to core muscle strength is more important in spinal stability and decreasing low back pain. And a great way to improve your core muscle endurance is to add in isometric holds of at least 30 seconds. Two of my favorite exercises for challenging the core with isometric holds include the high plank hold and the hollow hold. Now, while both of these moves are already fabulous for improving core endurance, there's one small tweak you can make to have them recruit even more of the abdominal strength. And that small change is adding in a posterior pelvic tilt, which will help to engage your glutes and prevent extension of your spine. Because as we've already covered, working the abs involves flexing the spine, not extending. And if you extend your spine in either of these exercises, you're putting your low back at risk for injury, or at least instability. So I know I've just thrown a lot of information at you regarding your core and abs and how to best train them, but I will do my best to wrap it up in a concise way in the description box below. So make sure you check that out so that you can go on training in a much smarter way than I did with this last week's challenge. And if you all enjoy these kinds of challenge videos, then make sure to check out my six week breathing and mindfulness challenge ebook, which I will link in the description box below. It's really fun. There are six different kinds of breathing techniques as well as weekly challenges, um, which all take less than 15 minutes every day and can be done from the comfort of your home. So thank you all so much for watching. It means so much that you made it here to the end of the video, that you took a few minutes out to share your day with me. Wishing you all a beautiful rest of your day. Best of luck on your ab training and I'll see you guys back here on my next video. Take care. Ciao.